Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance Live channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this video presentation. I've not created a video presentation in several weeks because I was on vacation and then I had several other projects that I had to work on. But I'm glad to be back. So on today's video presentation, I'm going to be sharing an article that I wrote last week. To read the article, I'll put my glass back on and bring up the article. As you listen to the article being read and questions come to mind, please send those questions to me, all questions or good questions. You may do so through the comment section here on YouTube or through my contact information page on Second Chance to Live at secondchancetolive.org. Here's the article, Dealing with and Being Empowered by the Things We Cannot Change. Hello and welcome back to Second Chance to Live, my friend. I'm happy to have you around my table. I've been thinking about the topic of acceptance with action. I like the quote by Mary, Mary Engelbrecht. If you do not like something, change it. If you cannot change it, change the way you think about it. By considering this quote, I am reminded that I have choices in life. I am not a victim. I am empowered by what occurs in my life. I am given the opportunity to consider the possibilities and what is, regardless of whether I may not like it or not. Consequently, I no longer have to feel isolated or defeated by what I may not like as I live my life. With this realization, I am given hope to live my life without delay. Because I have the power of choice, I can look for alternatives to what I may not like or cannot change. If no alternatives or possibilities exist, I can look, I can choose to look for the opportunity to learn from what I may not like or cannot change. I can look to salvage my, excuse me, I can look to salvage any circumstance or situation. With my determination, I can be empowered by what I do not like or cannot change. With this realization, I no longer need to feel victimized by whatever may become a part of my life and experience. With my choice, I no longer have to buy into the notion or buy into the notion that life is being done to me but instead done for me. With this awareness, I can choose to be encouraged by hope. With this realization, I am encouraged to trust the process of loving God and myself. With this realization, I am motivated to do the footwork and trust the loving God with the outcomes. With this realization, I am empowered to see my circumstances as opportunities to build me up, not to keep me down. With this realization, I am able to pursue, excuse me, with this realization, I am able to pursue peace with myself. Instead of being anxious and fearful, I am given the grace and determination to no longer feel stuck. With this realization, I am able to embrace my experience and move forward. With this realization, I am able to see what I may not like and cannot change as a setup rather than a setback. With this realization, I no longer have to feel trapped by what I do not like, what I cannot change, or by what is out of my control. So, this is the end of this particular article. Again, I want to thank you for your time. You're an important part of my process, and I always enjoy our times together. I'll say it's long for now, but before I do, let me encourage you with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. As I need to remember, please do not give up on yourself, a loving God, or your process, because more will be revealed to us in time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order and at the right time. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day, and God bless both you and your family. So long now.